Everest. Greetings, I'm Shad. And greetings, I'm Nate. And we are going to exploring how could you wear one of these things? Yeah, because we may have had a little bit of trouble yeah. with them in the past. We have a little short, you might check it out, yeah. uh, introing this concept. It's, it's, it's fun, go yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. But this is the deep dive. We actually want to see, is there a way to actually wear them? Exactly, because there's a like, they are, well, epic for a start. <laughs> But to put them, you know, as you and I know our back scab, it's to put them just standily on the back. I feel like I could kind of walk around if I could figure out how to do it. Yes. But if I try to walk backwards and to the left... And already it's hitting the ground. Exactly. And so for a regular back scabbard system, it's going to need to sit much higher up than usual, like right there. Yeah. And look, I can reach the handle from this point. And so we're not... I don't think you'll get away with a full back scabbard. And, no. and what will work better will be some type of hook or hanging system off of the belt is what we're thinking and then if you can just lift it up kind of unhook it and then just leverage it over the shoulder and you're good to go that really would be the best way nate is actually going to be exploring with tyranth different methods of how to make this work and then it's going to show me to see if it works i'll, I'll test them out I'll, I'll get something to work that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> but i think yeah definitely the problem that we've got to solve mm -hmm. is disengaging because there's a whole heap of ways that you can strap it mm -hmm. to your back but immediately going okay we can use uh, it yeah you want a quick release yeah. system now it actually might end up being something like that, just a simple quick release. Mm -hmm. Even if it takes more time to put back on, the That's most fine. important part of this is getting it out ready for use. Yes. Uh, presumably, after you've used it, you're not going to be in a, too much of a threatened position and you could take your time to put it back uh, just to carry around in a more convenient way. You might have better luck with the Titan Sword because of the cutouts means there's naturally places you can hook something onto it mm. so that actually might make it vastly more convenient like there's already great benefits to the titan sword i've noticed that yeah yeah what do you think of it this is the first time um, holding it i want to can i will give the other one a shot because i almost want to start yeah. having a bit of a play with it but it seems really good so far and these cutouts like you said it's going to make the opportunity for mm. hooking it, levering it, putting it somewhere mm -hmm. tenfold better than that. Yes, yes. As epic as that is. <laughs> well, it, it's great. it is great. So let's switch for a bit because have you held this? No, I haven't held that one. Have a look because the weight difference will be quite Ooh, shocking to you. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, like, well, it's kind <laughs> of a one hand. Right? Yeah, it's, one it's hand. not. That's intense. It is. We're still going to be using this one because it more accurately kind of simulates what it would be like to use a classical fantasy sword yep. but it also helps highlight the advantages of the titan sword mm -hmm. because this is, we, we weighed it, it's as heavy as a two-handed sword, like a standard two-handed war sword. In fact my regular one I wear in my shabbat, it's about this, a little bit lighter even I think oh. than that, which makes it really functional because I do want to see if there's a way to wear this on the back somehow and I'm thinking we might need to drill a hole in it, even like a little one. I think so, maybe 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 give uh, myself and tyrant a bit of time with this we'll see what we can come up with but um we may have to put a hole in it somewhere <laughs> so what, what do you think of it because you well you, you said this is the first time you're, you're holding it it is and i think we've got a few challenges ahead but i have to say it's literally like holding a table it would only be literally like holding a table if that was used as a table at some I'm point sure you could use it as a table i'm sure you <laughs> I'm sure you could. That's a, I'm, I'm laughing because HelloFresh is sponsoring this, ah. and we need we need a table to cook it on. So uh, I think I can do that. We'll, we'll cook it on a giant sword, and because if this works right, yeah. and you're an adventurer, yes. not only do you have a giant sword, you, you're you got a portable table which could be very convenient very convenient around the campsite because all of a sudden you get attacked while you're eating that's it's right that's there. right there i'm gonna go test this let's, let's just I'll find out awesome all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com and use code shadowversity 65 for 65 percent off plus free shipping i first tried hellofresh with a deal like this before they were ever a sponsor and you know it was free food what's there to lose and i was blown away it was so delicious and nutritious so convenient i've loved it ever since and I love having them as a sponsor. It helps you skip that extra trip to the grocery store and the long checkout lines when you can just spend more time doing the things you love. All the while you get chef crafted recipes delivered right to your door. Nice little elevated point for cutting. Everything sits there really nicely. Also, now they have 40 weekly recipes to choose from. The variety is huge and it really does help you break out of this type of recipe rut that you fall into. It's fine, it's gonna hold. 
It's exactly what that part's meant for. That was very much the case with me, where there's kind of just these go-to easy but tasty recipes that you just default to again and again. <laughs> HelloFresh helps broaden out the variety you have access to with new food that you hadn't really considered to try before and it's delicious. And there are new exciting flavors each week. It's such an easy way to eat well and save money. actually really good for cutting chicken breast down the middle because you rest your knife on this and slice through. Easy. Easy. It will help you cut back on expensive takeout and delivery when you get started with HelloFresh and you'll love how fast, easy and affordable it is to whip up restaurant quality meals in your kitchen and it's so easy to do and oftentimes quicker than actually ordering delivery. And no matter your lifestyle or meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table from calorie smart to carb smart to veggie or family friendly. You'll always find something even for the pickiest eaters. And on top of that, you can customize selected meals by swapping out proteins or sides and even adding protein to a veggie dish. It is genuinely brilliant and you can try it now with this brilliant deal. All you need to do is go to hellofresh.com and use code SHADOWVERSITY65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Really good value, you won't be disappointed, and thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Is this the first time you've done HelloFresh? Uh, this is the first time I've done HelloFresh uh, for you. <laughs> but I have cooked HelloFresh at home. It's really convenient. It is. Really, really convenient. It's great. All right, let's dig in. So, look at this. Look at this huge. It actually functions as a functional table. It does. It, it works. It, does. it works. Even for uh, filleting the chicken, using this as the, uh, the bait brace for the blade and then <laughs> cutting across. Easy work. Easy work. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. Mm. It's really good. Really nice. It's really good. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm. So there you go. An adventurer who has mm -hmm. a giant sword also has a potential portable table wherever he goes. So, seriously, guys, try it HelloFresh. Link in the description. Great deal. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Cyrus! Yes. We have an amazing problem. Yes, okay, what is it? We have to figure out about three different ways to put this on the back, on the waist, some way of carrying it. A carrying method for the Titan Sword. Mm. Okay, okay. Three of okay. them. Three? Mm. Why three? Shut ask for three. Right, okay, so three it is. To get started on this one, I think we will need uh, an attachment method. Yeah. Now, we have quite a large selection of belts. That's good, that's a good start. I think we will start with belts for our first method. Okay. So we'll grab some of them, but I think it is a good idea to have a look at uh, Shad's Shabbard. Shabbard? Yeah, yeah. Shabbard. We'll look at the Shabbard, uh, see if we can draw a little bit of uh, inspiration from it. Taking a look at the Shabbard, this is just where it attaches to his armor. Right, little right, press right. Dives. It With does belt. almost look like a sling, like you know how you have sling bags, messenger bags, yeah. something like that. And this is actually big enough to be a shield, as a few people have done before and shields of this size or even smaller sometimes had geese straps on them so having a strap over it the whole length the whole well about two-thirds of the way up right, right. to the cross guard yeah could work the one that i'm banking on the one sure. that i think that will work is uh having two uh attachment points maybe three depending how it looks but basically just attaching from this point here mm -hmm. to this point here that is my best bet that is my uh best guess of what will work for just something it, this size let it hang yeah using its own weight yeah. well i mean we could make a sheath for it do you want to spend all day doing that no yeah neither do i so <laughs> we're going to be going with that method i think sounds good so here we've got a selection of materials that we're going to be uh attempting to make our uh, successfully attempting we'll attempt it we'll see what happens <laughs> uh we've got uh some belts here we've got a knife We've got some duct tape and then we've got some hooks. This is for the first method. I do think that this is our best bet. This, I think that this is probably the, the most realistic one. Uh, but let's get started and see what we can do. Um, yeah, we'll throw it on you. Yeah, it's your thing. I'm just gonna wear it for the moment so that you can do the measurements on it. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, perfectly fine. Here we have our uh, very, very, very DIY uh, prototype. We're basically just got two hooks on a belt and we'll see if, if you can at least even attach it. I think it's going to work. Should probably go get Shad to test this. We should. 
We should get shot. Let's go get him. So the big test will be how easy it is to get it off. And because I didn't hook it on, I actually don't really know how it's attached. I'm just going to be trusting Nate and Tyrant that uh, I guess it can come off. So if you grab it here, if I lift it up, but it's still hooked on. Wait, 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 wait. This, I need to be able to do this myself. Oh wait, it's already off, kind of. Ah, oh, wow, look. How the hell did you get that on there? That is like, look, do, do you see? This is like a, this is a very tight fit. It would need to go all the way down. Uh, down there and get off like that. Explanation time. Yes, well. The hooks that we have here currently are. Just not big enough. Yes and no. Mm -hmm. We could bend them a little bit, but we don't actually have anything that will bend that thick of steel mm -hmm. currently here. So these hooks are a little bit small. If we got mm -hmm. bigger hooks and we actually change the shape of them a tiny little bit, they should be far more effective. You know. We could also brace the belt a little bit mm -hmm. to be uh, a bit more stiff in certain uh, aspects. Yes. I'm actually liking the hook method. So if you can see it, right? And uh, putting it on, like I said, isn't the main issue. The main issue is actually getting it off. But if I just, you know, hooked it on like that, right? And then there was a back hook that I could easily, yeah. f oh, there, there it is. And so if I wanted to hook it on the back, it's a little tricky to find, but I think it's kind of on it. Oh, uh, well, it's- I it, mean, it is it's, on it's, it's not, but that's not- I know, it's not holding it strong, but- well, it's holding it. It's holding it. If it works, well, let me test this out a bit. Sure. So for casual walking around, yep. it's attached. It is attached, this is working. So far, this is working. It'll, it could pop out with a lot. Just holding on for his dear life. I know, I know, but this is proving a concept though. If we made a wider hook or something that just you were easy, it was easy to just connect right there, like rotate a bit. Yeah. This is the method I had in my mind that I thought would probably work the best. You need two hooks because by two hooks, it's holding it on an angle, keeping that end off the floor. Yeah. And so as a result, it's actually holding it up higher, longer. Yeah. And then if I wanted to get it off, to it's all a matter of bring it up and then feeling that there. Look, it's a little, little fiddly, but once it's off, it came off the bottom hook really easily and then you're good to go. So issue is, it's not a quick release, yep. but this is the other element to it, right? There's no real other carrying method to compare it against. So any method that you can carry it conveniently is a win. Whereas with a regular back scabbard, you are comparing it to the convenience of a side scabbard and you compare the differences by speed. Yep. This is, you don't really have that option. So if you can just wear it conveniently and even get it off moderately, you know, easily enough, yep. it's functional, it's well, working. This is, this is only our first method, and we do mm -hmm. have two more. We've got our second method now. Now, this one is your idea. It is. And uh, I like it. It's very simple and very easy, and it seems like it will be actually practical. Why don't you give us a little bit of a run through? Sure, so we'd just be grabbing a pretty simple belt. So even this, compare it, doesn't even have the little, what do you call them? I don't know. Cool, it's the thing, it doesn't have the thing. This one just has a loop, yep. a ring. And it is as simple as getting a belt, looping it through. I know how to belt. I know how to belt. Okay, okay. Nobody said anything. Now, something to mention with all of these uh, designs that we're coming up with are uh, all based specifically around the Titan sword. They're not actually going to work with, for say, our uh, original giant sword. The, we would need to design a more universal mechanism that could hold multiple different style ones. Uh, this one, these, all these designs are very, very specific to the Titan sword. It is. Which uh, also makes it a little bit easier, to be honest. Especially with your design where you've got the holes in the middle. Well, that's not my design. That, that, that uh, design is Shad's design. There you go. It's very clear on that. Okay. I didn't want so the holes. We, well, in that case, I think the, the holes in it are nice. But this method is just looping it onto the cross guard and then you'd have an attachment point. We don't have another belt buckle yes, yes. here, but a quick clip so that you can quite easily take it off and go. See, we even kill a tree without realizing. I'm not mad. Don't worry, I'm not mad that he's, he's keeps smashing my sword on stuff. I'm not mad, don't worry, everybody. I'm breaking his Titan sword. It's amazing, look how strong it is. <laughs> I think this is another design to show Shad. I think so. All right, second method. So this is the second method that we come up with. Is this your idea, Nate? This is my one because you know me, I like simple. Yes. And this is very simple. The only thing is we did run out of a little bit of materials. Having a quick release on this end would be good, but it is simple as throwing it over the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Throwing that over your waist and attaching that to your belt. Right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. What we were thinking to make this idea a little bit better was to have it 
an actual like buckle, something mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. here, quick release quick buckle. Yeah, yeah, buckle quick release belt. buckle. So you could just tap it. There's a couple of things that you might be surprised at quick release because this is tight on the waist. Just slipping it through will actually hold it in place for, for a bit. That's, that's what I found, just, just with mm -hmm. a normal belt. All right, so, so throw it over your shoulder. Method is just, we're going to here, we're putting it over the shoulder. Yep. Getting caught on the poultry a little bit. Spud wrapping it around one of the rungs and back in. Oh, that. okay. I see what you're so doing. It takes a little bit. To yes, get. but okay. Yeah, like this so. is interesting. And then interesting. It is the quick release is the problem. It, it well, moment, but pressure okay. will hold it in place. Quick release. We did discover that also having the belt flop around once you pulled it out, there would be yes, yes, a, a method to hide it or so you do in combat. My thoughts on belts at the moment, it's doing the job of holding it in place. If the belt gets cut up once it's out, that's a side kind of inconvenience. The main issue is having your fingers holding it in place while you're walking around, being able to get it off quickly, doing the job. And after hopefully your life is saved or you fought the monsters or whatever, if the belt got cut up, you could figure something else out, find another belt, but you're pretty much good. This isn't bad. This is holding it in place. It's a bit low, but you could adjust it by where you want that. Where you put everything. Yeah. Do you want to give it some walk? Yeah, let me, let me walk around. I'm walking around with a giant sword. And so if I wanted to test and I was like, oh no. Oh, wow. Wow, that was the... That worked surprisingly well. Okay, let's try that again. One of the things that we did as well is wrapped it around the center rung rather than the edge of the blade. I don't know if that's going to hold it a little better for you. I like it on this one because it seems to hold it just sure. up a little bit better. Okay, I'm actually really liking this one. This is, again, you just need a, and you, you have the option to tighten it as you want. And now this is pretty secure. I might even put it down, but you can adjust the convenience thing. I want to test getting it off again. So if you guys step sure. back, it's like, oh no, monsters. Just grab, oh, 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 Nate. It's simple. It's simple and it works really well with the Titan sword specifically because of this Ricasso section that's blunt. Mm -hmm. So the way you can get it off really easy is just leveraging it on the shoulder, which easily pulls it out of the, the friction and you got there. Here we have our third and final method, and I think this one's the best. I know I keep saying that, but I mean, uh, this one actually is well, kind of the best. It's more of like a bag. Exactly, and we put our heads together with this one. It wasn't your idea, it wasn't yep. my idea, it was kind of our idea, so. Yep. This is, and I, I, I like this one. Now, I don't know exactly what Shad's gonna want with this. Uh, the hook one is a good uh, mechanical method, mm. but based on the hooks that we have available right now, they're a bit tight. It's a proof of concept. It is, it, does, it does work, mm. but, Getting it off and on is a little tricky at the moment. <laughs> if we had a few more revisions, then yeah, it would be perfect. The second one is also very good. I like your uh, quick uh, quick release method. It is, but because we've only got limited supplies, we yeah. don't actually have a quick release. So yeah. for the moment, it is just looped onto a belt. We would, we would want to put it onto like a buckle that you can press and then pull and straight pull off. And go. It does have the, uh, the drawback of ha then having a strap flying around. You'd have to quickly you're, stuff you're that away. The strap on the way through. Yes, yes. But this method, it's attached and it depends where we put the, the this top point. If mm -hmm. we move this even closer to the uh, uh, to the pommel, we could hold it tight when we're wielding it. Good. But, but given what we have and the limited time, this is our, our best bet. This is the final one. Yes, it is. All right. Hail Mary, let's see. Oh, well, Hail Mary, have a little bit of faith. Okay, well, we, I, we put our brains together. We did, I, I, we did. In uh, fact, in fact, really when you consider it, because the first one was your idea. Actually, yeah. The, the second one, one was mm -hmm. my idea. The third one is us literally putting our heads together for something, so. Literally? Well. Literally? Well. How could you do this, Nate? You, you, you misused, literally. I did, I did. Metaphorically Yes, speaking? yeah, that was better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Interesting. So for the third and final one, the one that actually functionally works. Functionally works. You know, given the time constraints. Yes, the yes, yes, yes. It's like a backpack. It is. Like a, a sling bag, basically. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give it a go? Oh, well, you got I'm gonna give it a go. These like uh, these pauldrons will get in the way for this Okay, method. okay, well hold on, hold on. Just before we do that, just uh we measured this on skinny normal people, not with big armor on. Not not muscly, large, yeah. imposing. Well, not with these big things on. So. You know, you're not talking about my my side pro profile, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. To and not you totally screw this up. How about you show me how it's meant to function? Okay. For the first method, we have uh, like a just a backpack. Just wear it like like this. You wear it like that. No worries. Need to get it off. We've got our hand holes. Like a sword mm -hmm. satchel. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. That belt will get cut up by the blade. But. 
like we discussed earlier, if it survives the battle, putting it back isn't the biggest priority. This is true. This and is true. The second method is more the actual across the head. The actual, with a permanent connected belt. That has potential. Mm. It's more about where we put the connection point. Yes. If we put the connection point further up, we can take mm -hmm. off some of the slack by holding the belt as we take it off. Mm. All right, all right, all right. First, it was the single shot over the shoulder thing right here. It's not actually, this isn't bad. I know it's not bad. This isn't bad. It's intimidating to walk behind. It is, but I mean, the fact that you have the blade pointing forward is a representation of my massive manhood. Well, I think that's just what you did. <laughs> I didn't have it pointing forward. <laughs> All right, what I was actually going to say, you see where the blade is, and therefore, you're like, you only hit people that you actually want to hit. I thought we were putting them on the back. We will, but this isn't bad, is all I'm saying, because one of the problems of wearing particularly large shorts in the back is not being aware of this exactly, and sometimes the handle does hit, like, doors and stuff. It's easy to account for it, but when you get to this size, this would be particularly hard. I have a question. How many Go. people are walking through doorways with giant swords? Is that a large percent of people? In a, in a fantasy realm, there could be heaps. Yeah. I didn't realize we're playing in fantasy rules. Okay. Well, 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 well the but, but I mean, in credit to that, you can walk through normal castles with a normal sized sword and still have trouble. Mm -hmm. Still have trouble. So having it face forward. Trees. I've, uh, and trees. I've never Who said that? I've never been know. to a castle. That was a, that was a familiar voice. Trees. Say it again, person. Trees are a thing. They are a thing. Branches. There's actually utility with having pointed forward, is my point, because you can always be aware mm. of it. And, alright, alright. It's quick enough, I reckon. Okay. But you are saying, alright, sure, how, how, how does it go, go on? Well, for the one, uh, one shoulder, I mm. was thinking more like this. You have it actually, you hold, chill out for a second. I'm actually supposed to have it this way. Or maybe not. <laughs> I I did it in the footage in the first one. Trust, trust. No, no, I was thinking about like when That's I... That's how I was doing it! That was like, you had it like this! That's good! Like Present this. your manhood forward like a codpiece! It's very important in the medieval period! You gotta be proud of your crotch! Are you not proud of your crotch, Tyrant? I am very proud of it, thank good. you. Good! <laughs> For the main method, we have it all the way across. All the way across. Well, let's just see how easy it is to get up. It's not terrible. Not too bad, even with pauldrons. Even with yeah, pauldrons. Yeah. Have you slimmed down a bit? You keep commenting about my weight, I'm just curious, we Tyrant. Because we measured that on, you know, people don't have armor on. I'm just talking about the armor, of course. Oh yeah, just the armor. Oh, just yeah. The armor. And we did have we did have Hello Fresh before, didn't we? We did. We, we did. We did. All right. All right. Uh, so far, so good. It, look, chance to hit the ground, so you would want to get it on the side. But on the side, this this isn't bad. This actually isn't bad. Um, and with a titan sword, it's really light, you barely feel it. Mm. But one of the issues is this, hitting the ground. So the way you could fix it is by having this connected a bit lower on something, but it's proving the concept, I think. Yes. And then the key is, can I get it off quick? So I need some room, need some space. It's like, oh no, bandits! Ugh. Ugh. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. I think that was more an armor issue. Yeah, actually, perhaps, I perhaps. think that actually was an armor issue. All right, well, 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 we can try it again. Try it again. Getting it on is pretty easy. Like, that's not it's bad. Like on bag, it's it? almost. It's like, oh no, bandits! Look, it's not super fast, but <laughs> it's not terrible. The thing is, you can get it off reliably. That's yes. that's the main thing. Yes. The easiest way if there was a quick release, but. Uh, We'll see. Yes, well, we'll see. if you really want to develop one for the uh, carbon mm -hmm. fiber one, stay tuned for that, then uh, we can actually maybe do a proper one. Alrighty, all right. It's actually proper leather, not just uh, belts, and mm. uh, we can have proper quick releases, and maybe we can work on the design That's a true, bit. but the thing is though, it was surprisingly easy to wear once you got it on the back in a mm. secure way. Interesting. Three methods that we tried, by far my favorite is the second method. That's good. It, that were like, the quick release gives it the biggest thing. How secure between them? Mm. The Baldrick attached to them seem to be the most secure yeah. in terms of getting off and on. What's interesting also, the methods that we tried, they could work with something like this, okay? The big sword, so Nate, if you could hold that. So the method I liked, if you did attach, a, if you had attach a belt there and have a ring or something here yeah. that's made to just loop it through yeah. and then through the belt, you've got it. Work. You got it, and then you'd have a quick release method of wearing a giant sword. The belt, what's interesting about the belt, the reason why I like the second method in terms of the belt, not, 
if the belt just hang down, would hang hang down. Yeah. It could be something an enemy could grab, but maybe you could have a quick release to remove that. You know, if you've got the time and the enemy is off to the side, you should throw it. Whereas the attached Baldrick was flopping over the blade at times, yeah. and so. I, I really like that. It was more out of the way. It was attached, but that's not too much of a thing. And the convenience of the quick draw is a, is, is a win. Is so a win. Number two is what you want to do. Number two. Now, are we going to be doing this with our final sword? Do you want a... Uh... Perhaps, perhaps. Well, the purpose of this video was to see if it's even possible and to find a functional way to do it. Right. You guys achieved it. They so. all worked, but I do think the second one worked the best. Uh, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and uh, also subscribe so you see the other videos we have in our giant sword kind of uh, series. And now. the ones more to come up as well. Yeah, we've got yes. more to come. We've got more to come. So thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you on the future videos and until that time, farewell.